Hey guys, so I am putting myself out there and I am posting a video. Um, I have thought about doing this for a while and always kept thinking that I needed to be prepared and have stuff planned out and several months later I have done nothing and so I've decided I'm going to do it and uh, I actually pulled off um, into um, St. Louis Community College parking lot in um, Arnold, South County, um, Aramont Bottom Road uh, to do this because I figured if I waited I was going to talk myself out of it and so I'm doing this. Um, um, we'll see where this goes and how it evolves but um, I'm doing this because uh, to share a little bit of my current story that I'm going through my life um, and uh, I think, uh, think I can't talk okay forgive me I'm not gonna edit this I'm gonna just keep going uh, so uh, if you've known me for a while um, you know that I have dealt with weight issues for a majority of my life um, and that over the past too many years I've been working on losing weight and it was a slow process for the most part um, but I have definitely hit a new high or new low depending on how you look at it uh, lately and it's just continuing and I wanted to share some of my story and just kind of um, welcome you along the journey and possibly anyone else who would find this encouraging um, by no means is this a way of saying this is what you should do this is the right way this is the wrong way because I don't know I just know that what I'm doing is working um, and it's not something to pass judgment or look for judgment even though it's social media so we'll see what happens um, but anyway um, so something I have shared with very, very few people, and few is probably too much of a number, too, too much of an exaggeration, um, but at my heaviest, um, which was, I don't know how many years ago, I want to say 2012, um, my heaviest weight was 498 pounds, which seems unreal. Um, and uh, there were some health complications um, one of which, which really, which, uh, kind of woke me up to how much I weighed because they had to weight me was I had surgery to have my tonsils and adenoids removed, um, because my adenoids especially had gotten so big, which I'm not sure if it was weight wise or what it was never explained to me. But anyway, um, so yeah, during that time I found I was 200 pounds away from being 500 pounds and like, heck no. Um, and it's weird to think how fast or excuse me, how slow this, the weight can add and how you just don't see it. And even at that weight, I didn't see it. Um, and kind of on the opposite, even though I'm on this weight loss journey, which I'll share in a bit, um, that progress, um, there, excuse me, I'm apparently going through puberty tonight because I've been doing other messages and my voice keeps cracking. Um, so anyway, I, um, or was I sorry? Um, so yeah, just the way that the weight just creeps up on us that, I mean, I would look in the mirror and didn't see a change, even though there was huge change and in reverse, I'm, there's times I don't see change and I have to pull up old pictures of me, which the pictures I found weren't even me at my heaviest because I don't think I have any pictures of me at my heaviest. And to see the changes I've seen in the past, um, I'm going to say year and a half, two years is crazy. Um, so with that being said, um, I have been, it's only been the first week. I've owned, this is my only third class there. I missed a couple due to some things going on, but I've been doing a high interval training class. So a hit class and it's a weight loss challenge in South County when I'm loving it, except for the soreness, but it's a proud soreness. But, um, so the past week alone, um, I've actually been doing keto and doing this class and I'm down 10 pounds, which, okay, 10 pounds, not a great big deal, but hold on. Um, 
over the past year, um, January 7th to January 7th, I lost over 100 pounds. And sorry, let me rephrase that. I got rid of 100 pounds. I didn't lose them. I don't plan on finding them. I got rid of them. And so in total, um, so I just realized I'm telling you guys my weight now, which I wasn't planning, but if you do the math, um, I have lost as of tonight um, a total of 163 pounds. So yeah. Um, I hate when people say, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, everybody's situation's different. I'm not saying don't make excuses. Um, it definitely is hard, but I definitely encourage you guys, if you're struggling with weight loss, or heck, even weight gain. There's people out there who want to gain weight and want to gain muscle. Whatever your fitness goals are, um, find what works for you. Don't, in, in my opinion... Um, and again, this wasn't a video to shame anybody or tell you how to do and how to do, not do stuff. Um, but just speaking from my experience, some of the things that I realized that helped for me is not weighing myself. Um, I'm doing it now because I'm in this challenge, so I'm weighing myself weekly um, because I want to see the progress in a week's time. But normally, I weigh myself at the most once a month um, because the scale can be tricky. I, um, there's times when I wasn't weighing, or excuse me, I wasn't losing weight, but my clothes were getting looser, and in fact, I just had to buy new clothes. And so it's, it's just a mind game where I realized I'm down X amount of shirt sizes, X amount of pants sizes, but I was still afraid to weigh myself because I was afraid of that number. And so... If you're fine with the scale, scale great. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, there's so many other ways that you can um, track your progress or at least maybe not track if you don't want to track it, but at least keep an eye on your progress. Um, that's where I found my encouragement was when the clothes, my comfort clothes, the clothes that I wore constantly are now too big for even as night shirts. Um, I don't even feel comfortable wearing them in around the house because the neck holes are so big that they just, it looks awful on me. Um, so yeah, so find what works for you. Um, obviously if depending on your situation, um, talk to your doctors and make sure you're not doing something that could hurt you. Um, work out safely, um, push yourself, but if you miss a workout or if you eat that candy bar, another thing that I've learned is how much I would beat myself up about it. And instead of getting back on track and recovering, I felt worse about myself. So I ate more candy bars or I just didn't go to the gym for another week or two weeks or a month. And once all that was said and done, I felt worse again. So it was just this vicious cycle to where I've learned, and I'm not perfect at it by any means, but I've learned to brush it off, um, get back up, and start going, even if it's small steps. Um, we're humans. We are not perfect. We mess up by our, someone else's standards or another's, and we mess up by our own standards. So if you fail in whatever capacity that looks like for you brush it off get back up um so yeah this went on a little bit longer than i thought but i'm i'm glad i did this and i'm hoping it helps someone um if anything i just want to share my story um so yeah um you guys are getting a little preview i figured i wasn't gonna post any pictures or anything until i was pretty much at my goal weight or at my goal weight which um that is still fluctuating. I'm not sure. I have a goal range, so it depends on how I look at certain levels and where I go from there. I've also been doing muscle work, so that's going to play a part in it. Um, but I lost my train of thought. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I wasn't going to pick post pictures or anything because I want this to be this big, biggest loser surprise moment. You guys are just like, who the crap is that? I don't know him. But um, one thing that when I look at YouTube videos, which I don't do often, um, I see these videos of, 
in my case I pretty much watch guys because I'm a guy um, and I see these videos of guys who have done this incredible um, body and weight loss transformation and they're so open about their story and what they did but and I'm not saying these videos aren't out there but there's I haven't seen videos of them of people in the progress and yes I wish I would have started this earlier to where there was progress that you guys could see throughout the videos um, granted there's still a lot more progress to be made but one of the reasons that I wanted to do this was if someone out there um, is thinking okay yeah these guys or these women have done this but they didn't see that transformation it's a little bit harder to grasp and it's not on Biggest Loser or whatever TV show where they get all this help from trainers um, chefs whatever the case may be yes um, I do have trainers in this session that I'm taking now um, but it's not a daily weekly norm for me um, I don't subscribe to any meal plans like um, those ones that come in a box I can't think of names of them right now um, so yeah um, I'm just hoping this helps someone possibly um, if anything at the very least it's going to be documentation for me so I can see the differences and I welcome any comments ideally helpful or encouraging comments um, but yeah I'm actually hoping to do something on YouTube here in the near future I've said this a while back and again this is why I just stopped the car and did this now so I wouldn't put it off so maybe this video will go on YouTube but or some media but um, yeah so just wanted to share that um, and let you guys know and just whatever your goals are whether it's physical goals educational goals career goals um, think of the small steps of what you need to do as as opposed to the huge goal the huge in progress um, huge end goal sorry I'm stumbling for words right now um, cause that's another thing is the smaller victories may not seem like much because they're small victories, but they're definitely worth celebrating because 10 pounds in the whole scheme of things of how much weight I've lost and how much weight I still need to lose, 10 pounds is nothing, but it's 10 pounds less than what I had last week. So I'm going to celebrate that, not by getting candy a shake or anything like that I'm just gonna celebrate it just just with my excitement I'm not gonna let it counteract and just and have that negative like oh dang it's only 10 pounds no it's 10 pounds two pounds is two pounds one pound is one pound whether you're wanting to gain or lose um, so my recommendation is just try to keep that in mind it's not easy by any means um, but yeah, sorry, this has gone on a lot longer than I planned. Um, but yeah, my goal was just to, again, share my story and hopefully help someone else. I definitely welcome anyone to comment on this, share it if you think someone else needs to see it. Um, I don't know where it's what's going to happen with this video or with this, um, where this is going to go. I just want to be able to post my story and if and hopefully at least one person encourage them or heck get encouragement and advice from others who have been there or who know more about this nutrition stuff again this is not to say this is what you have to do or you can't do um, I have no expertise in this um, and so I'll welcome suggestions but I and I will share those suggestions, um, but again, this is not, it's not going to be something to say, this is how you have to do it. These other options are wrong. So um, just keep that in mind. So, and we'll see. All right. Thanks guys. I will talk to you later.